In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how do I know if my response is good? Written responses are a great way for you and your teacher to have a conversation about your books. As you write your thinking each week, your teacher will be responding back to you. Today, I want to teach you how to use a rubric to evaluate your response. Each week when you do a response, your teacher will be evaluating your response using a rubric. Here is a rubric that your teacher will might, might use with your class to assess your responses. To get the highest score, the response letter has to have more than three interesting ideas. To get the highest score, the response letter has to be well organized and in a logical sequence or order. Does what I wrote, wrote make sense? To get the highest score, the response letter has to include all of the letter components. Heading with the date, greeting with the comma, three body paragraphs with spacing in between each, a closing, and a signature. To get the highest score, the response letter's presentation looks clean and neat and is easy to read. Questions to ask yourself are, am I proud of this? Is this my best work? Or could I try a bit harder? To get the highest score, the response letter should be your best work, so try it as to have as few spelling errors as possible, but let your teacher direct you as to how he or she will grade spelling, because with Google Docs help, many of you have the real life spell check right there to help us at our fingertips. So use it to your advantage. Your teacher may have selected two good responses ahead of time for you, the students, to look at. This might be from the class, or you can exchange papers with a teacher from another class, or a class from the past. The name will be covered or removed for the writer to remain anonymous. First, I'm going to have the teacher read the response and identify which prompt the, stu the student is using. Then, the teacher will go through and place a check mark next to the items on the rubric so you can see how they are matched up. Then, the teacher will look at the numbers on the rubric and identify whether each area should receive a 4, 3, 2, or 1 with the class's help. And finally, the teacher will give the response a score and then write a brief note back to the student. And students get to see that modeled so they feel familiar with the process. Then have students work with a partner to, one, read the response and determine which strategy or prompt the student used to share their thinking right from the rubric, and then check off the items contained in the response. They can do that together. Then they can identify a score of 4, 3, 2, or 1 for each category, and finally give the response a total score. What score will you give certain responses? Explain your reasoning. You should use evidence from the response in the rubric to justify your explanations. What score will you be giving those certain responses? It's up to you, but keep in mind that a key part of reading workshop this year is you evaluating many responses like these together as a class with a partner and individually over the next few weeks so that you understand your teacher's expectations and can write one your own. Remember, each week we need to refer to the rubric to evaluate your reading response before turning it in to your teacher. Your think mark will help you to complete your response. And if you need a new think mark, ask your teacher. Maybe he or she has a download system for you to download them. Or they may be pre-printed and they just need to be passed out.